Hey folks, how you diddling? This is our Kyocera Ecosys P5021 CDN, printing merrily away here using cartridges refilled with these U refill toner refill bottles. This is a demo of one of our instruction booklets on normal paper, but we do all of our production on the recycled paper you can see here. And that's our hopefully humorous catalogue that we send out to real, actual customers every day. And that's why we're confident in the product and happy to show you now how we did this refill. Not forgetting, of course, that refilling a toner cartridge is halving the carbon footprint, halving the plastic waste, and halving the cost in terms of your hard-earned smackaroonies. In our experience, this is pretty much a tale of two messages. Player one is this, replace the turner message with the letter below it indicating the colour, K being black, C being cyan, etc, etc. And player two is this non-genuine turn -off message. And for both of these messages, you'll find that the orangey light next to the exclamation mark is on and your attention will be drawn to the fact that the printer won't print. Not a sausage will it print while either of these two messages is showing. So when we got the replace the toner message, we put our bottle of toner into the target cartridge and did not do anything with the chip. Whereas when we got the non-genuine toner message, we put our new chip onto the target cartridge and did not do anything with the toner bottle. And that's actually so important, I'm going to say that encore une fois. Replace message, refill with toner, and nothing else. Non-genuine message, change the chip only. And here's a mnemonic that might help. Replace the toner, refill the mona. Non-genuine, microchip medicine. I know that's pretty tenuous, but we can't exactly afford Madison Avenue, you know. I will just mention that along with the non-genuine message, the control panel might invite you to press some buttons as if to accept and override the message. By all means, try that if you like. And if it were to work, then obviously you wouldn't need to change the chip. In our case, it never ever worked. And that's why we were left with changing the chip as our get out of jail card. So we always ran into the replace the toner message first. And as we know, all together now, replace the toner, refill the Mona. So we took out the cartridge, the whole cartridge, and nothing but the cartridge that was mentioned in the message, magenta in our case. This is the copper melter. Those are our mole grips. And we're gonna get hold of the narrow end. That's a chef's blowtorch. Think creme brulee. Although I'm sure you can think of other ways of heating up the wide end of the copper melter. So it fits nicely down the neck of the toner opening and we're just melting through what's at the bottom. Then for fans of my videos, how does James Bond like his martini? All together now. Shaken, not stirred. Splendid. No, my Sean Connery is not improving over time, but initiate docking of the space station somewhat like this, and then upend the whole shebang to get the toner flowing in. And you might have to shake and pour a couple of three times to get all that good stuff in there. Then we've got this plug, which along with the copper melter and the toner bottles are on internet if you need them. Just click the eye link appearing top right. We put the cartridge back in and the replace the toner message went away. And blow me down if we weren't 
printing again. For less carbon. Less plastic. And less spondulash. It's mating season, and ever since I discovered the polar bear, we've known they have massive footprints. And yet, their carbon footprint is vanishingly small. Recycling is, of course, good. But reuse is a whopping great 3.5 kilograms of CO2 less than buying a new cartridge. And all the materials are used directly again without needing to be assembled, transported or processed. Suffice it to say that by refilling your own toner cartridge, you can feel good about yourself and feel good about the planet. Get your hands on this wonderful new technology by clicking the eye link appearing top right now. So, on to changing the chip, which, at the risk of sounding like a broken DVD, we're only going to do in response to the non genuine message, non genuine microchip medicine. <laughs> Who could ever forget that? But the LCD panel on the printer's not telling us which chip to change. For that, look for a pop-up on your computer screen that looks like this, where the yellow exclamation mark next to black is our cue to change the black chip. And only the black chip. So it's off with his head for one of these two plastic rivets, out with the old, in with the new, being sure to get our chip in this position, like so. In she goes. And after a few seconds of whirring noises, we were printing again. For less carbon, less plastic, and less spondylulies. So when we got the replace the toner message, we put our bottle of toner into the target cartridge and did not do anything with the chip. Whereas when we got the non-genuine toner message, we put our new chip onto the target cartridge and did not do anything with the toner bottle. Eight out of ten Swedish dentists agree. Refilling your toner cartridge saves 3.5 kilograms of CO2 from entering our atmosphere. And so, for products that don't cost the earth, please click the eye link appearing top right now. Who on earth writes these narrations? Was it that upstart? Brian Cox. I bet it was. No animals, human or otherwise, were harmed during the making of this video, but if you decide to do this, you must make your own safety and risk assessment and take full responsibility for your own actions.